What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Sure, we're talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Nope. I haven't talked about Nope in so long. We'll be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4. And then we'll be talking about something I've never talked about on this channel. We'll be talking about you in the upcoming fourth season and these images that were released. I'll just have them coming across the screen and you'll get to see the new images that were released of the upcoming season. So just to jump into Scream 6, the first official, first official trailer for Scream 6 is dropping tomorrow at 9 a.m. Now that 9 a.m. section is according to Grace Randolph. The other part about tomorrow is from Collider, who exclusively revealed this big news this afternoon. Big screen leaks did chime in earlier to disclose that the teaser is over a minute long, and it begins with a New York subway, and then Ghostface will appear at some point. What else is shown in this trailer? I do not know. Uh, it does sound like they're taking the first Halloween Ends trailer approach. That's That sounds like that's what they're using for Scream 6. So I imagine we'll get some quick shots of other events from the movie. Hopefully we'll get to see a brief glimpse at Hayden Pantier, get a brief glimpse at Courtney Cox, a brief glimpse at Melissa, Jenna, seeing everybody in character, seeing Kirby, Gail, Sam, Tara, all of that good stuff. Uh, don't know what they'll be showing, but it apparently we'll start in the subway. Also, Viewer Now recently revealed, if you don't want any minor spoilers, again, that are comparable to knowing that the grass is green, you can click away. Viewer Now recently revealed that the Cur that Kirby's favorite Friday the 13th movie is allegedly part four. That's pretty cool to me. I can't wait to see how and why she act how and why she brings that up. Like, what makes her talk about this? I hope it's a scene with Mindy. That's all I have to say there. Also, one of the kills in the film will include an oral kill via like a knife to the throat, it seems. That's also from viewer non. I will have my Scream 6 trailer talk out by maybe 9.45, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So be on the lookout for that because I already have the thumbnail ready. I've had it ready for weeks. So just to jump into this next topic here regarding Jordan Peele's Nope. Nope is receiving an Oscar campaign from Universal after releasing after they released a new four year consideration trailer a few days back uh, that I will say thoroughly that I thoroughly enjoyed, even though I've seen this movie like four or five times now. Just watching this trailer and seeing all these quotes about people's high praises for the film has me eager to revisit it down the road, which I plan to do over the days of my life. Uh, but as many of us recall, this isn't the first time Peel has had any type of tie-in with Oscars. He was able to secure an Oscar for Get Out, and I hope a nomination can at least be secured for Nope. If he was trying this with us, I would, or if they were trying this with us, I'd probably say, ah, yeah, wait for a better one. And this, <laughs> this is a better one. Nope is better than us, especially. Um, I hope a nomination can be secured for Nope, especially if that leads to Kiki Palmer getting an award for her performance, or even Daniel Kaluuya, although. My inner child is wanting this for Kiki more than Daniel. Uh, I want her to get that recognition so bad because I've been watching her since I was a little kid. She's been on Nickelodeon. She's been on Disney Channel. She's been a part of so many of our childhoods that we want to see her get a big moment like this. So I could see this securing a Best Original Screenplay nomination, at least, if nothing else. Do you think that Nope deserves an Oscar nomination? Let me know down in the comment section why or why not. Also, check out that trailer that they just released again a few days back. It's the four-year consideration trailer that's supposed to be starting up their Oscar campaign, looking to get Nope nominated for some Oscar awards. So, again, I hope that Kiki is able to be nominated for a performance award because I would love for her to win and get that moment to just have a spotlight for her years of work because I feel as though over time Kiki Palmer has done nothing but improve with everything I see her in you may disagree but I would love to see her on stage accepting an Oscar for her performance in Nope not that she only has that one good thing because again it would just be like a cherry on top of all of this hard work that I've been seeing from her for so long and I just want her to have a big moment so just to jump into Jeepers Creepers 4 and talk about some minor news about it this is just box office stuff once again it seems to be a hit in mexico and russia when it comes to places that are helping it reach this near six million total at the box office and i'm still just like oh, the fact that this movie is doing that it makes it even more frustrating that they handled it the way that they did so in these territories or in these markets rather they are over one million each 
since the film has released in those territories with everyone else around the globe helping it get to the total that it currently sits at which is like 5.7 million i believe or something like that i haven't seen any updates on that lawsuit that is still ongoing though just in case you thought it was dropped it does not actually appear to be dropped at all it doesn't seem that they settled it out of court it seems as though the trial that is still set to occur in 2024 is still going to happen as well but these numbers, again, related to the box office, they, again, are a little frustrating when you can see that there is an interest in places that are not the states and they are being treated to poor quality films with a series that does have potential. It just was created by the wrong por person, unfortunately. With success like this in those markets, I would hope that everyone who can and who can and should be a part of future movies that's me bringing up the fact that once again bring back jonathan brick bring back ray wise anyone that can at least sh showcase some actual talent Br please bring them back uh because with success like this in these markets i would hope it would be an eye opener for infinity films if they are involved again an eye opener for Michael O'Hoven because again he's ahead of Infinity Films and Myriad Pictures team Kirk D'Amico and the distribution lawsuit and all that stuff that's going on with the current lawsuit to come together and recognize that you have a chance to make money in other territories that are not the states and they are they are hungry for this thing they're hungry for it you can't keep putting out quality films like this though because this is just going to kill that kill that market I would think so Jeepers Creepers 4 definitely is overperforming for sure because it doesn't deserve these numbers at all. But that's really all I want to talk about is just the, the two markets that I see helping it really reach the state that it's at right now with the total. Just to conclude this by talking about you season four, a first look via some new images of Joe trying to leave his past behind by starting a new life in london have been released you season four debuts its first part i believe on february 9th and the rest on march 9th it's taking the stranger things season four approach i believe that's that's exactly what they just did they did volume one and volume two in the summer i'm excited for this and i'm certain joe's bad habits definitely will reemerge because he just can't help himself what do you want to see from you season two or you season four i meant to say do you think love will have a cameo because i'm eager to see how this new setting will amplify the narrative if at all and to be honest i'm ready for joe to be brought to justice i love this show but this man needs to be taken down that's just my honest thoughts on it i know he's also going to be going after the i can't think of her name right now the individual that he was after towards the end of season three can't think of her name i haven't watched season three since it came out i'm looking forward to season four hopefully we get an update on his child too that he left behind because there's so much going on with joe's life then i'm like okay bro where is your expiration date at because it seems like it's creeping up on him and they're gonna wrap it up at some point because i don't want this show to actually keep on going on and on and on but let me know what you think about these first look images down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video